Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are gonna be going over a Halloween look. Um, it's kind of like a devil look with some spikes here. So these are the mutant spikes from Wuchi, I believe it is. I'm gonna show you what you get in this little package. So you're gonna get two sets of two larger horns like this, two sets of smaller ones, one big horn, and then one long strip of all these little horns here. Now to apply these, we are gonna need some spirit gum, any brand will do. And all you're gonna do is take your spirit gum and just start to paint that on the back of this little prosthetic here. So just like so, the only thing with spirit gum, you have to wait for it to get a little bit tacky. So I'll either blow on it or kind of like fan it out and then just test with your finger to make sure it's tacky and then it's good to apply onto the skin. So I'm just applying these on like so. Now, a couple of them I cut because they weren't gonna go on my face that well. So I'm just cutting the little prosthetic and that's fine because we're gonna lay it down with some latex anyways. Another thing I noticed, these horns, they were kind of like a little wobbly. So I found that putting some tissue paper in them, it just added a little bit extra to their shape and to their strength when it was on my face. So next we need some liquid latex. And for that, we're gonna put that around the edges. Now, the reason why we're doing that is because the edges are pretty harsh like they're pretty bulky because this is just from you know a store so they aren't the best but um, you can take some tissue paper some kleenex or some toilet paper and lay it along the sides of the spikes here and then use your latex to build up and kind of smooth down more of the edges here so we definitely definitely need liquid latex and some tissue it's going to make it look a whole lot better when you're finished, it looks like that. So see what I'm talking about? It kind of, you know, fans it out a little bit more. It's still not perfect, but once we put the paint on, it's gonna look fine. And then the horns on top, I use my fingers to even um, pat out the edges. And then you can tell like it's a lot smoother there. Now we're gonna go into the color. So I'm using some cream paint here from NYX. Now cream paint is definitely tricky to work with. It's not my favorite, but if you do wanna work with it, I have this little mixing solution here from NYX and I just mix it together. You could even use like a moisturizer and it's gonna just help it um, go on. It's gonna help the application a lot better. So I'm just using a sponge to do that. And then I have a little brush that I'm gonna use to you know, get on my ears and my nose, all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm also going in and just coloring over the spikes with some black. I didn't like all the white, but you could leave it or you could paint it up to you. I'm going in with this Swear by palette from NYX, but you could use any kind of eyeshadow and just putting some browns and some yellows on my eyes. And I'm also taking the yellow here and I'm going to go around those little spikes. And then take a brown eyeshadow or a black and you can contour your face. Um, I filled in my black brows with some black eyeliner and like I said, just take that brown and just kind of shape around your chest and your face there, just like your natural, natural contour and your natural cheekbones. I'm also taking the NYX Epic Eyeliner and because the edges are, you know, like it's not 100%, we need to add a little something to kind of camouflage it a bit. So I'm just taking this eyeliner here and making some circles around those spikes. And then I do also drag out some fine lines to make it look like some little cracks or, you know, to some little textures to just kind of make everything blend together a little bit more. And I also extended that onto my chest. I'm going in with a white body paint. This is the tag body paint. and I'm gonna add some highlights here. This is a water activated paint. You could also use a white eyeshadow. And don't forget to get your ears, very important. <laughs> Just taking a black and adding in some more definition around the eyes, my nose and the ears. I'm going in with a yellow to match the eyes and I'm just gonna put that onto my lips. So just any yellow eyeshadow will do. This is from the Swear By A palette as well. I'm then taking the Fatal Lipstick by NYX. It's a liquid suede lip gloss and I'm gonna apply that onto the corners of my lips and then just kind of outline my lips as well with a black eyeliner or a black eyeshadow. I just kind of wanted my lips to be cohesive with the eyes. I'm also taking the Vivid Brights here, I believe it's just like a yellow, and I'm gonna highlight that onto my eyes and onto my lips as well. As you can tell, it gives a lot more pop of color here, and I really liked how that looked. And again, just outlining my lips so everything looks very nice and it's not messy. 
and just trying to blend a little bit of the black and the yellow together. Now I'm gonna put on a wig here. I thought it went well with the color choices and I put in some contacts. And to be honest, that is almost it. I'm just gonna take some eyelashes now. I'm taking some single lashes with the duo glue and I'm placing those under my eyes one by one. And then I take two pairs of lashes and I stick them on top of my eyelashes there. I usually like to use tweezers for this because my fingers just get in the way. I was kind of struggling a little bit here, but <laughs> we got it in the end. Just take your time with the lashes. They're a little tricky. And that's it guys, that's how my little devil turned out here. Kind of inspired by the new um, Sabrina adventures, you know, with the devil and all the Dark Lord stuff. So I thought it turned out pretty cool. And that is it guys, so thank you again for watching. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Summer, and if you're old, thank you for sticking around and always supporting me. Thanks again for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.